So, Your, your Excellencies, uh, Executive Secretary uh, Carlos Lopez, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this year's um, ARC Senior Policy Seminar on Capital Flight from Africa. And it's organized in, in partnership with UNECA. Uh, it's a real privilege uh, for us to partner with UNECA, Carlos Lopez. So, ARC Senior Policy Seminars are featured annually. Uh, to bring together uh, senior policy makers from around the continent and thought leaders to actually dialogue on a contemporary issue of policy interest. Uh, participants actually are drawn from the highest echelon of economic policy making in Africa. So uh, we had uh, recent uh, forums um, on senior policy seminar. One was on youth unemployment in Kigali, Rwanda. Uh, natural resource management in sub-Saharan Africa, in Dar es Salaam, and the global financial crisis and its implications for Africa in uh, Lusaka. Now this year's theme, capital flight from Africa, is very topical. Billions of US dollars disappear without any trace from the continent every year. Um, so in addition to uh, this illicit flow we also have multinational corporations operating in Africa who actually engage in a variety of <coughs> tax avoidance and evasive mechanisms. And as a result of that, the continent loses billions of dollars as well. Now, uh, senior uh, policy makers assembled here today are at the center of decision making uh, to mitigate capital flight from Africa. So this particular policy uh, uh, seminar makes it very clear uh, that capital flight is actually more burdensome on Africa than other regions of the world. The reason being that the region that, that Africa has a staggering needs for economic development. So ARC and UN, UNEGA have partnered to put together this timely senior policy seminar on capital flight. We are leveraging, by the way, two sets of collaborative efforts. The ARC has a collaborative research program on capital flight. Um, we have actually completed that, and, and it's going to be in a, it's actually going to be in a publication forum. We are taking two uh, outcomes from that uh, project. Uh, one in the form of an overview of drivers and motives for capital flight from Africa, and the second one it has to do with asset recovery, uh, recovery of stolen assets. And then uh, uh, we have two institutional presentations, one by, led by UNECA and the other one by African Development Bank, because both of them do have a program on capital flight. Uh, and then um, we'll be ending with a policy roundtable, uh, inclusive of senior policymakers and thought leaders. And uh, I would like to point out that this is not just going to be presentation, it's not one way speak. We want to see very interactive dialogue and participation among senior policymakers. So one of the reasons that we actually use this forum for ARC is to bring forth what has been researched in the network to policymakers, and then also get their feedback in terms of going back and redesigning our research program. So, so I would like to see an outcome which is consistent with that here. Um, I'm, as I mentioned, uh, the part of the program of today is inspired by the capital flight research part, uh, program that we have. And uh, uh, Executive Secretary, I don't know if you don't mind, I'm going to migrate to the other podium. And I wanted to have a brief on my organization, African Economic uh, Research Consortium. And, and then really mention as to how what we are doing today is actually fitting into our program. 